Hi, I'm Sri Lakshmi from Informatica Technical Support and here I'm going to present on how we can create and configure a custom Java component in DT. When you design and configure a data process transformation script, you can use a large number of built-in components. You can also program custom components such as document processors or transformers and insert them into a script. When you export the data process transformation as a data transformation service, the service runs the custom components. You can implement the custom components in Java, C or CPP. Here I am going to show through an example how we can reverse a string using a custom Java transformer in DT. We need a Java program which reverses a string and we need to create the jar file from that particular class file. This is a Java program which reverses the input string. So now we need to create the class file and jar file out of that class file. So first we need to compile this Java program. So we have created the jar file now. So there are uh, two things to do mainly. First is we need to put the jar file in the external libs user folder. Second thing we need to do is we need to create a script to show a transformer listed out in the DT default transformer section. So first we need to put this jar file in the external libs user folder. Second we need to put the script in the auto include user folder. So if we check the script, this reverse string is the name of our custom Java transformer in DT. This string reverse string is the name of a Java class file and this print reverse is the Java method which reverses the string. So now we need to restart DT. So here is a sample DT project. The input file that we have given contains the content Informatica. So, we have passed the string Informatica and here under default transformers we can select our custom transformer reverse string. Now we can run this project. So if we check the output file, we can see the string Informatica which is reversed. So mainly there are two things to be followed. First thing is place the jar file in the external libs user folder and second place the script in the auto include user folder. Please let us know in case of any queries. Thank you.